welcome back all of you and then nana here and then you will now make a simple uh, import map and then uh, try to do this now sure. so let us now go to the product information management and now query the item let us now go to the browse items and then query so first we'll now query the item actually so on this uh, the d01 Right, one zero nine zero is the one. Let me make a search. Let me click on search, and then I will now click on the hyperlink. So now uh, we are going to have the description as a twenty four inch. So I will now make it as a thirty two inch. This is a sixteen GB RAM. I will now make a change to eight GB RAM. Right, sixteen GB RAM is coming. I am now going to make a change to eight GB RAM. So the display is thirty two inch, and then uh, the sixteen GB RAM will be changed to eight GB RAM, and the color will be changed to red. My three changes I am making it. These three changes I'm going to make via uh, my import map actually. So let us now open up my Excel sheet. Open up my Excel sheet. And then let me create a new one for this one. Let me now make a blank. So maximize it. The first one is transaction type. So the transaction type, I'm not going to make it as an update actually. Uh, so next one, I will now say Nana's or mm -hmm. Next is what known as item. So known as item. And then here I will now make what known as display. So you can even give any of your names basically. And go that comment. Now next is what uh Nana's RAM. So this is the one now. So we are now given display, the RAM, as well as what you're going to give. What? Uh, so the display, the RAM, fine, <clears throat> the color, fine, no, color will change to red actually. So it is the Nana's color. So this many, we are going to make a change now. Fine, brother. I will now go to the file and then save it now. Fine, click on save us in the PC. Come on, go down. So go to this place, fine. open up this, open up this. So in this place, what happens? I will now, I will now save. D01 fine. My uh, import no fine. My mass update it's seven. Okay, some file I'm giving it no fine. My mass update it is not an Excel worksheet, and then it is a CVS UT of eight format. I'm not saying no fine. So D01 my mass update seven is now getting saved. Not saved. Now, having saved this, what happens? They go there, and then I will now create a what's called a import map actually. Now go back to on it. So I will now um, go to this place and then create an import map for this one. <clears throat> so go there and click on that and we'll come out of it now. I will now make an import map. Click on that come out of it. We'll go to this place, we'll now make an import map. This is the seventh one you're going to make now. I click on it. I will now go to what the data consolidation. And I will now go to the manage import maps. The seventh import map I'm going to make. I'll click on this. I will make the seventh import. So we are going to make a seventh input. I think we are going to say D zero one. We are going to say input underscore map underscore seven. So the seventh one, I make it and take over from the description. And then here, it is not a root item class. It is D zero one. And then I will now give what the IFA display. The item class is what the IFA display. And then now I will now upload the file actually. So once when you upload the file, whatever they will all be coming over. You know, click on the choose file, and then we will now do it. <clears throat> So we have this my mass update seven point click on open. <clears throat> so we are uploading it now. So once we upload it, everything is coming now. So you go to map it now. So the first one is transaction type. Enter transaction. So the transaction type has to come. I will now go to the top and then see now. We'll drag it to the top. So transaction type will be coming now. <clears throat> transaction type has to come now. It's not coming. Uh, again, what happens? I will now make it as what uh, D01. And then I will now choose the high file display and high file laptop. So this one. I'm going to the top. And then uh, the transaction type has to come. Mm -hmm. Go down. So the transaction type has to be mapped to the transaction type. Before. Demo item type the next. So the transaction type is coming in. I can click on it. And then I will now drag and drop on the transaction type. Drag and drop on the transaction type. So it gets me. Then next is R. I will now go on and query on the R. 
org for the interim organization organization code not organization code not a simple organization actually organization not just the organization so this is one of my organization choose it and then here you click on it and then drag it so this is map this is item put item item and then enter go above and then see you okay know, drag it to the top and then have another item 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 main just come on the item and simple item choose the item and have one map it click on it and then drag and drop on the item right now this is map now the display is coming panel i will put d01 and then enter in so if you put it on the display has to be mapped to the display so i will map to the display in case my ram has to be mapped to the map and go there I have no map to the RAM. <clears throat> and then the color has to be mapped to the color. Now drag the color and then put on the green. So this is also mapped. Right? Everything is now mapped. And all things are mapped. And go there. So click on save. Then what happens is you'll be able to generate the template. Upon saving it, what happens is a generate template will be coming back. Click on save. I will not give a save. You can now very well generate the template. Click on the generate template and go to generate the template. I will now use US English. Use American English. Then click on generate. So the template is now getting generated. Right? You are now getting generating a template actually. So once the template is generated, what happens? You can now see on the source file the template number. Click on it. So it's coming. But you will now click on it and then it will not download. Click on it and it will not download. So it is now getting downloaded now. <clears throat> you can see it's now getting downloaded. So let us now take a copy of it now. I will go there. I will now go to the folder area. Not take copy. I will now put it on mine. I'm going to place. Let me put it on mine now. Open PH and this one will not paste it. So now, once when you paste it, so my import map is ready. Fine, right click and then go to the properties and then unblock it actually. It is unlock and unblock and put an unblock. Then only what happens, it will be possible for you to open up and click on okay. Unblock and then apply and then click on okay. Now we can very well open it. So let me open up and double click on the open. So we are opening the template actually. So from the list of values, we have to find out all the values actually. So in the Nana's color, fine, drop it down. So I will not choose the red now, fine, not the red. And that Nana's RAM, fine. I'm not going to change from 16 GB to 8 GB and drop it down. You're going to RAM, fine, 8 GB. Display is uh, manual actually. Item is also manual. Org is also manual now, fine, that's the D01. So we will not take a copy of this from the template and then we will not populate on our, on our sheet. So Nana's color is what they are not pasting it. My RAM, you go there, take a copy of this, the list of values, basically. So there is a way you have to do it in the final template. Display is what? 32 inch. You go that. So go to the analysis. Is that D01 underscore 1090 is the one. And org is what? I don't know. So it's a capital D 010. And then the transaction type is going to be updated. So likewise, what happens? You can get multiple lines on this for a specific set of uh, attribute sector. So displays the redefine or everything is not okay. Now we are going to create an import batch basically. Now go to the system and then get an import batch. And it's all done. So click on save and close. No fine. It's all done actually. Now go there and then create an import batch. Go there, click on it, click on done. Go there, click on it. Now go to the place fine. We manage the item batches. We are going to get the seventh batch actually. Batch number seven is going to be created. No fine, click on it. I will not click on plus now, I will not get a batch. <laughs> Suppose that is the D01, I will now say input batch 7. I'm not putting a 7 batch. Assigned to one case, my EMP1. Default organization is what? It is a D01, uh, the PDH master. And then go there and then save and add data. <clears throat> Drop it down. Save and add items. I click on save and add items. Go to save and add items. Fine. Supplier name is not that. I can go there. D zero seven. I'm not going to put what the seventh one, the seventh map. I'm going to put no picture on cake. The seventh map is on that. And choose the file. So I'm going to choose my uh, import. I know fine. My mass update file. And I click on it. So once when it's coming, what happens? You don't get an update file. So once when you get an update file, that means what it is uploaded file perfectly. So seventh one. I'm going to what So click on upload file. So by which what happens? The nine item import process will be completed. Click on upload. An item import process will be triggered actually. Click on the 
So go there. So the batches are now coming over here. Now, thank you, Connor. So we'll now see the batch basically. It's the seventh batch actually. I go there. I will now say uh, make it null and then make a search. Thank you, Connor. It is now in process. Seventh is in process actually. It's not going hard. We'll now wait for some time now. In the meantime, what happens? You go there and then you now see what how it's happening. So we need an approval by EMP3 actually. Can import item process. Item import is not passed. So it will be creating a change order actually. It is now going to create a change order actually. So here nothing will be processed basically. 1090, nothing will be processed. And then once when everything is complete, you can now see in the manage item batches. And you go there. The, the status will be there. Right? So click on it. And then click on search. If I click on search. You know, it is in process actually. It is in process. So now what happens the change order would have got created now fine go there on it. I will not click on that. What happens is not, not possible to edit actually fine it's possible and this is not possible. So we have to wait for the icon to come now fine go there on it. The input request process fine click on search. No happening. Maybe after the end of that, what happens is the processing fine, the child input processing will be running. And then finally, once when this is done, what happens? It will be possible for it to edit actually. Import item processing is running fine. Item import child is now running. So once when everything is completed, then what happens? It will be possible for us to edit data. Previously, upon completion of this item import, we are able to see the changes in the item actually. But now what happens is the system is now triggering a, what's called a change order actually. You go to the browse item find where everything is completed. And then afterwards, what happens? It will be running the keyword search, you know, the item keyword search will be doing. So once when it is completed, the, act, the whole activity of item import is now completed actually. So you can now see the item import is still running actually. Wait for the keyboard search to complete on it. It is not end up in the error right? because what happens? Some problem will be there on this point. Uh, it is unable to import actually. I don't know how I look at it. Find what the error right? Click on it. I have a look at it. So open the log and then you can now see this. I will not take a copy of it and then put in a word file and then have a look at it. Word file blank one. Okay. So it's now giving you a lot of things. Now, find estimated record morning. Uh, there are so many item interface tables and other things are now giving error actually. Transaction type update cannot be used for importing attributes to the attribute group demo item type. So the transaction type, I have taken it from demo item type actually. So I should have taken it from some of the other item okay, from the data level system, not from the demo item type. Fine, that is a mistake actually. So let me create a new one and then do it now. Fine. So new one, I had to do it now. Fine. So demo item type is the one. So let me go there and then drop it down and then do it. Okay? Demo item type transaction type is not correct actually. Don't say. It. So there is there is an offline for that code. So we'll now go there and then what happens? If you go to the manage item batches. I will now go to the manage import batch. Go to the place. So go there. Code. I will now go to click on it. So go to the product information management, and then the import map is not correct. At all. So you have to map it properly. If I click on it, I will now go there. Go to the manage import maps. Uh, manage item rule search, fine. manage item rule search, fine. No, the governance, fine. I go to the consolidation, fine. manage import maps. So let us know what happens. Drop it and then do it. Fine. Go to the D01. So click on search. Fine. On the demo item type, it's not there. Go there, click on it. I will now click on it and then edit. So let us now drop it. Fine. I will now see whether we can change the transaction type or not. Fine. Go there, click on it. So the transaction type is there. Fine. Uh, if I can uh, clear the mapping, select it and then clear the mapping. Click on it. So on the demo item type, what happens? I don't get the transaction and there's no correct fine. Go there, click on select it and then click on the mapping. So once this is now cleared, now fine go there. So I have to give a transaction type separate. Transaction and entry now. So transaction type, it's not on the demo item type actually. So go there, click on it. We'll have to see from the main one itself. Transaction type. Not on the demo item type. Go there. So the transaction type has to come now. In the main, expand the main and then see the transaction type. The main, what happens? We go there and then I will try to map it to the main one. Everything is coming. Okay. This is the transaction. On the main, what happens? We are going to So I will not go there and drop it down on the transaction type. So it is now mapped actually. I can go there. On. It is now mapped. <laughs> So it is now mapped actually. I can go there. It will now give a save and close. It will now give a save and close. So, so now the new mapping has been made. Now I can go there. Click on it. Save and close. 
only for the transaction if it is giving error of enter. Now, you now make a new batch and then import it. Now, enter on it. No more than make a new batch and then import it. Go there. Go so, we have to manage item batches. So, I'll now make the eighth batch actually. Thank you, Thomas. I'll now make the eighth batch. So, the D01, fine. I'll now say import underscore map underscore eight. Import batch, I think. Batch eight. So, we are now doing the import batch eight now. <clears throat> so, go there. Is D010 is R. Fine, go there. Select and add items. <clears throat> import batch eight is not done. So now the same map is going to be used now find D01 because the map has been corrected for the transaction type actually. Thank you. That. The seventh one has been corrected. Thank you. Okay. And then I will now upload the file. Choose file and then you put it. My, map, my, my this thing is going to be no done. So the update icon is coming means what the file is uploaded. Thank you. Upload. Now this time what happens? Be again triggering what an import item import will be triggered actually. This is the eighth one actually. Eighth import batch. And 2004 is now running. Now find the upload. I will not go to the monitor process and have a look. So we can even query on our username of Frank Monitor. It is a D01, not D01. Mm -hmm. So click on search. So this is the employee who is not doing it. So this time item import should not get errored out. It has to pass actually. So it's running successfully. So after the item pre processing is completed, then what happens? It has to go for the next stage actually. <clears throat> Is passed, and then it has long run. <clears throat> Finally, the item import child will be running, and then once when the child gets completed, someone will get so on the main you have the transaction type, it has been mapped to the transaction type, and not on the demo item type actually. So there was a mistake actually. that is passed. <clears throat> So we'll now wait for the thing to complete. Enough. Item import processing is completed. Then the child will now trigger. The child import will be ready. So it's not running. Item import is also running. It's initially passed. It's not running. So the child import will not trigger. <coughs> so the child import will not complete the activity actually. And item import child is running. Actually. So once when that is done, the parent is getting passed. Actually. Wait for it. So finally, the item import has to what happens at the end. So item import child is running. So we are now corrected the error on the transaction type actually. Now succeeded find what that one. And then afterwards the keyword search will be running. We had to wait for the keyword search. So item keyword search is now ready for running. And item import is also running. So item keyboard searches are succeeded and go down and then have a look. Go down. So the item import is now still running. Now we need to wait for it. Take a moment. Go down. The item import has succeeded actually. The item import has succeeded. So this is known as got completed and everything is succeeded. You will now go there and then see on the browser items. I will now see whether the change has happened or not. You can cancel. It must be 32 inch and then 8 GB RAM. Or the changes we made up until moment. So go to the place and then I will now query. <clears throat> so we have one print click on search. So once we search for the moment, print click on it. So the change has not happened basically, mainly because what happens is the system has now created a change order action. You go to the manage item batches and then query for this. Thank you. I'll now make a search. So the system would have created a change order action. Thank you so much. Now the eighth batch is coming. So it is not completed. I'm going to on it. It is now doing all this. Total records and then what happens? Two item records successfully imported is one, but it is not really important. But what happens if you go there and see this? Now, it is not really important. I will now click on it. It has now created a change order action. It will not create a change order. It will not monitor the change order. No, thank you. Let me go batch. It has not created the change order. You go there. Hold on. Can I see? 5010. Fine. It is not coming. It is not submitted for approval. So 5010, if you click on it, you will not have a look at it. 5010 is a change order. It has not, it has not created actually. So if you go there and then go to the line details of the change order, and go there. it will not go to the line details. 
So go there and then watch it my point. Click on the item changes, no click on item changes. So it will not say that the display has to be changed to what? Uh, 32 inch now. You can now see it is not 32 inch the change now and the one the one change now. And then 8 GB RAM is another change actually. GB RAM is one change. You go down and then you click on it and that. So the display is now 32 inch. Now 16 GB has to be changed to 8 GB actually. And then the, the second change now. And then the color has to be changed. Okay. Color also be changed to red actually. Yeah, color is not red. So blue to red, and then AGB RAM, and then this one. These are the three changes which are there on the on the line level. Now I on that. Now what happens? We will now promote it for approval actually. We have to promote it for approval. Thank you for cancel done now. I will now go to the workflow now and go to the workflow. And then go there. So the workflow, what happens? It is not started at all. I will now go there, click on it. So I will not, what happens, I go to, what happens, I go down, and then save and promote it to approval. I will not submit it to approval. I will not save and promote it to approval. So go there, status to approval, and then give a comment. It is not getting promoted to approval, actually. The change order is not getting promoted to approval. Now. So that what happens, it will be going to what? Uh, you know, so submit it for approval is coming. I don't want to submit it for approval. And then go there. It is in progress, actually. So go there, save and close. So once when it is submitted for approval, then what happens? It will be going ahead on. No submit for approval. So click on cancel now. Right? Save and close, and then requery again. Now, right? now in the initial, what happens? You now saying not submitted for approval. Now what happens? You go and then make a search. Now click on search, and then open it up. And now we can see that the change order five zero four zero has been submitted for approval. You can also say approval submitted for approval. Now it has got changed to approval. So let us now go to the EMP three and then how look at it. Right? So if you go there, click on it, and then I will now log out of EMP3 and then come again. No fine sign out. You'll be getting what happens a notification pop. Sign out and click on confirm. Go inside. EMP3 has to get a notification pop over. You could click on it, but it has to get it actually. If it is not coming, left hand side will not say it. Or not coming here. So we go to the left hand side and then we see this. Go to the tools and then you go to the afterwards. Go to the afterwards and then how is it? It's coming here. It is still not coming here actually. So let us now go there and then how is it? See 5040 is the one. Go there. Uh, I will not want to go there. And then manage change or type 5040 is the one. You now see this one. So name starts with what? B01 underscore. Uh, uh, okay, no, not this one. B01, make a search. I'm going to click on search. Another one, I'm going to click on it. And then click on edit. I'm going to click on edit. And I'm editing it now. Go there. So go to the baseline with the approval. Right? So approval is now marked to what approval and then person DMP3. This is okay. Change order is perfect now, and there is no problem with change order. I think you can see. Change order is perfect. So only on the item import batch it has to come. We'll again go there and then make a check. So one more extra notification has come. It has taken some time now. I click on it. I don't go there, click on it. So we got change order 50 uh, requires approval. Right? So he will now click on it. And he will now it took some time actually to come over there. So the change order approval has come over here. Right? This is the one uh, which is not come over here. Right? And then approval is three MP. It has been submitted to EMP3. You're not seeing everything. You will now click on the change order itself and click on the change order. And then you will now watch the changes actually. This guy will now watch the changes. He has to make a change. He has to make a change. He will now watch the changes actually. So item changes he has to watch actually. Go to the lines area and then watch it. Go to the lines area and then go there. And then he will now watch the change. So what are the changes he has to make? Find on it. That will be coming over here. Now so now what the change actually? <clears throat> so click on item changes. Now what I mean, the description is not getting changed. Now find twenty four to thirty two, and then it is eight GB RAM. Find the change, and then go now. You will now see all the three changes actually. Find display from thirty two to thirty two, and then blue to red, and then sixteen GB to eight GB. So these are the three changes he has made. Now find on it. So he has seen all the changes, and then I will now approve it. This is okay for him. So CH five four zero five zero four zero is now going to approve. So good actions and then what happens? They go there. Uh, uh, I will not. What happens? They go there. It's not done now. 
So he has to get an approval notification from Godak Monet. Uh, 5010. Uh, I don't know how to, what happens up to from this place. No, I'll not give a cancel and then come to the main page. No, I'll not give a cancel. I will again go there and then I look at it. No, I'll click on it. I'll not go there and then have a look at it. I will not, not, not select and then click on approve directly. So 5010 is now going to approve. So click on approve. Now he is now approved. He has seen all the changes. Fine. He is not taking an action. It is now gone. Now. So the approval is gone. So we will not go there and then come back here. Now. <clears throat> so change your type is okay. Fine. Click on the approve. I will not go to the edit item batches, no fine batches. So what happens? I will not give a what's called save and close, no fine. You can even save an import actually. That is what he has to do. No, fine. So I will not go there. I will not give a cancel and then requery. So we have to what happens after the approval is now gone, no fine. I will not click on the change order, fine. click on the change order, and then he has to do this one. <clears throat> so now what happens? The change order is now gone to schedule that. It's now gone to schedule, and then it will be getting completed also. So it will be getting completed also. So the scheduling still is now so I go to the workflow. Go to the action log. He has now approved it. And go that one. So what happens? Uh, promoted to what happens? Uh, line 10 is approved by the application. Fine. Go that. So promote schedule, schedule. And then finally, what happens? It will be getting <coughs> So go to the system. And then finally, it will be getting completed. So give a what's called cancel and then requery. No, no, save and close. It is approved actually. That's all. And go that. So go there and see this one. Approval submitted for approval is not coming. Fine. Uh, give a what's called save and close and then requery. Fine. The batch has to be requeried. I will not click on search. No, fine. Click on search. Now, what happens? They can now see it's all done. No, fine. I will not click on the batch. No, click on the batch. So the batch has to say that it is now approved. Go there. So now uh, it is now updated. No, fine. Status is also going to complete it actually. It's, it's there. So we'll now go on and see on the browser item now if the changes is now reflecting on order. I think we may have to again trigger item import. Cancel it. And then I will now requery it. <clears throat> so once when the approval is completed, fine, click on search. No, no search for coming. Once when you search for it, the description is still changed. Now description is already changed. Thank you for it. You can now see the description is changed to 32. And then the RAM is 8 GB RAM. The RAM is 8 GB RAM. My description is changed from that. And then if you go to the specifications, I go to the specifications and have a look at it. Thank you for it. Have a look at it. <sighs> specifications. And then you go to the other way, specs page, you know, specs page. You know, you know 32 GB and the colors change and the diamonds also change. So if yeah. these changes are not still happening, what you have to do is you go to the ADMI device where everything is approved actually. So here, what happens, you go there, drop it on, and then perform an import again, save an import. So by which what happens, it will again trigger an item import. So by this process, what happens? So we have now completed the mass import by what happens. The system triggers a change order. Previously, it was not coming. The change order is not coming at all. And I don't know how to bypass it. You may even have to bypass it. If it is possible, upon completion of the item import, what happens? It has to get reflected immediately. Once the item import is succeeded, what happens? It has to get completed. It has to reflect that. So, uh, you and somebody make an R and D about how to bypass the change order. Right? If you know it, please post to the group. We'll all learn from you. So, this is a good process of what happens. Item mapping now. So, this has got changed because every day, what happens? They are changing the uh, method of doing it actually. So, that is it. So, we have now completed the what the <laughs> import maps actually. Right? Bye for now.